All right, guys, I said I would update you on this NeoPixel Cube thing once I got it to a stable place, and that's kind of where I am. Now I'm using my camera freehand, so if it wiggles around a bit, that's what it is. Anyway, um, so I ran into a problem. Other than it's really hard to film NeoPixels and make them look right. They just don't look right on camera. Uh, but anyway, this thing, it, it works as it should. It's a, you know, of course it's a little bit slow, but let me show you what the problem was, okay? Or the evolution of the problem. So, if you remember years ago, um, I got one of these that I used for uh, a project with Ben. 64 pixels, right? And so we did that, and I thought, hey, that's real cool. And then I found these tiny little NeoPixels. And I thought, ah, you know, I got to do this. So I made one of these uh, that replaced this. So that, that's 64 there. And then I thought, well, well, actually what I did is I put uh, four of these together and I made a panel and a display that my daughter actually has now. I don't have it anymore. Um, and so I said, hey, well, I'll just make some panels with uh, you know the size of four of these so that's 256 on there and I thought well if that's good then uh, you know let's make a cube out of it and so I've got five of these panels and that's where you start running into problems because that is a total of um, what uh, 1280 that's 1280 neopixels so what you'll see one thing is that that's moving it as fast as I can make it move right now scrolling text because when you're sending out the you know the data to 1200 of those 1280 of those things it takes a long time for it to update so I mean the maximum update I can get is about 24 frames a second which, you know, it's good for worms uh, like that, uh, but for the text and other stuff, it's not so good. But that's not really the, the main problem. The big problem is heat. If you put your hands on this thing, it's noticeably hot. Even just sitting around, this thing gets warm. Even when there's no lights on, it gets warm, okay? So what I've done is I've hooked it up to this meter um, let's see I've got I've got the USB that runs it comes out right here and uh, then I've got it run into the wires and then back around to the meter and we can watch what's going on so here's our voltage and here's our amperage that's watts right there all right so just not doing hardly anything it's running a full amp pulling out of there and the, the, when I originally started trying to program this thing, I was trying to run it off of uh, this setup right here into the ESP32. I kept having brownouts. And then I finally realized, hey, this thing's drawing a lot of current. And it turns out these things, even when they're turned off, they draw nearly uh, a milliamp of power, even when they're turned off. So... Um, you know, this, much of this is just each one of these NeoPixels, the processor, and each one of these NeoPixels running. So, anyway, this is the cube. This is what it does so far. It puts the time up there. Uh, it makes worms. And it makes those lines go up. So, it, it's been a pretty problematic to program because it's like it goes... Uh, you know, this panel, this panel, all the way around, and then this panel is connected to that panel back there. It's the, so this is the fifth panel. You have to reorient everything. So you got to figure out what are you going to do. You know, when this worm comes up over the top, then he's he jumps from, you know, this panel all the way around to there. You know, so it's kind of tedious. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of what it does. But what I did was, since I got this thing set up, I wrote some software so that we can just do a quick test 
and see what the amperage draw on this thing can be and why it gets so hot and why you have to plan for some serious amperage to run through this. I mean, we could probably easily melt these wires if we wanted to. So I'm gonna put this thing on the tripod and I'm gonna set up the program for testing. Okay, so we're sitting here. This is idle, still warm. You'll see that we're running at one amp with this thing just sitting here idle. The ESP32 is not gonna be pulling more than about, you know, 30 milliamps doing what it's doing, which is just sitting idle. It's probably pulling only about 15. Okay, and uh, so all of this is just the processors in each one of these NeoPixels running on their own consuming power, a little less than a milliamp per NeoPixel. Okay, so now each of these lights, we're gonna turn on white because that will illuminate the red, the green, and the blue uh, LED inside of these. Uh, so we're going to turn on white and then what we're going to do is increase it one level at a time. So you know that for each uh, color there's 256 levels that we can go to. All right so we're gonna we're gonna go up one at a time and then we're gonna watch this amperage right here go up and I'm gonna I got the amperage turned all the way up. I think this is a 10 amp power supply we're not going to go that way far because it'll melt our wires but let's just watch how low level we go before something happens all right so we're at zero right now we're doing one amp all right that's level one so we went up about 100 100 150 amp milliamps level two another 100 150 milliamps level three level four, level five. So this is five out of 256. We're not even at 10% yet. Ugh, so it's starting to, that's not too hot. Let me feel the wire. No, we're okay. So we're, we're running two amps. Oh, we're getting some weird stuff. All right, two, let me see what we're at now. We're at, uh, we're at 11, all right. Uh-oh, getting some weird stuff up there on the top. That's the last NeoPixel, or last screen. So let's see. All right, there we go. We are at 23, so we're right at 10% of what we could do, and we're pulling almost 3 amps. And that's getting pretty warm. Let me feel my wire. Yeah, my wire is starting to get warm, too, because this USB wire is not supposed to pull that amount of amperage let's see we'll go let's go uh, it's all it's getting whacked now i don't know what's going on all right we're gonna call it on that one let's see yeah okay we're gonna call it all right so that is the end of our test and we'll just going back up to um, back to the regular routine so there you go I'm pretty much done with this cube I, I don't know how much more time I'm gonna spend programming it it it's just tedious um, and man it just draws uh, too much power to be sitting around running all the time all right that's about it